Tai Command is strongly refuting allegations made against the force by a man who was once one of their own. The former policeman, who has now been identified as Tyrone Brown, has blasted the body as being totally corrupt. As Lisa Rowe reports, the denial from the force comes even while the National Security Minister has demanded that a thorough probe be launched into the matter. The Jamaica Constabular Force is facing another dark cloud of controversy with the circulation of a video that has gone viral on social media. The former policeman in the video paints a grimy picture of a police force riddled with corrupt operatives. How is it a policeman who spoke out against corruption, including murder, murder, where a well-known gun was supplying guns to members of the constabulary, yes, to kill and plant on certain elements in the society. Sent away for years, and after I come out the program, the police know who the witness gets. I've all the power to tell him, hey, come back to Jamaica, and he sees me to pay him several times, and the police let him go. Yes. He used to be escorted by policemen, motorized, CMU, Kingston East Division men. Yes, the very long crews are assigned to the Commissioner of Police. On Tuesday, the JCF High Command hit back with a strong statement. The High Command has refuted the claims in the video, calling the assertions false, malicious, and libelous. In the video, Brown singled out two senior policemen who he says and knows have ties to Dons. The JCF says these policemen have since instructed their attorneys to institute civil action against him. According to the High Command, Mr. Brown was involved with other policemen in an incident that took place in Clarendon in 2004 and struck a deal to become a witness for the prosecution. He was then placed on the witness protection program and relocated to a Caribbean country. The cases were tried and the members were acquitted of the offense of murder and later reinstated in the force. Following the acquittal, Mr. Brown applied to be released from the witness protection program. He was officially weaned from the program in January 2012 and remained on the JCF's payroll until his dismissal from the force in 2014 when he refused the directive to apply for re-enlistment. The High Command says it's to be noted that several steps were made to locate him to resume duties and he blatantly refused. But the High Command has since had to backtrack on an earlier statement where it indicated that Brown was never a member of the Kingston Eastern Division. The JCF is now saying that during his tenure, Brown served the Motorized Patrol, Mobile Reserve, the Special Anti-Crime Task Force, Kingston Eastern Divisions and Area 4 Headquarters. So why then did the National Security Minister Robert Montague demand a quick and thorough probe be done into the allegations when the police have already refuted them? And I have brought it to the attention of the Commissioner of Police as well as the Chairman of the Police Services Commission, which is the proper body that has that authority to treat with allegations of, against senior members of the force. So the police have made a public um, statement and I am awaiting further discussions with them, as well as to hear from the Police Services Commission, which is an independent body. So I brought it to their attention, and we have to allow them the time and the space in which to offer it. Lisa Rowe, CBM News. Meanwhile, the Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, says it is now reviewing the video of the former police officer who has made the damning allegations. The Public Relations Officer for Indicom, Daniel Anderson, says the Commission has viewed the video. We are trying to gather the information to then uh, make a decision if it is something that needs to be pursued by us at this time. The incident is within the remit on the record. It is within the remit of an Indicom investigation. However, at this time we have not begun a formal investigation of it. National Security Minister Robert Montague has demanded that a quick and thorough probe be conducted into the video by the Commissioner of Police as the Chairman of the Police Services Commission. 
But Ms. Anderson says Indicom has not yet been contacted by either party. Neither the Minister of Security nor uh, the members of the High Command have contacted Indicom with the matter. All I will say on the matter is, as I said before, that it is within our remit to do the investigations and that a formal investigation has not been launched by us as yet. But the possibility exists of an investigation? Once we have been able to consider all the factors, yes, so there is a possibility as we have that right to do such an investigation if we feel that. How soon can, can the public know that whether or not Indicom would, would go about investigating? I can't give you a response to that at this point. And we take a quick break. We'll be back with you shortly.